it is feeding time for our dogs right now. Six o'clock on the nose, that's when they like to be fed. Um, I put them in crates because we have four dogs and we certainly don't want anybody stealing each other's food or have, getting into an argument about it. Um, and if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, that's just Apple getting very excited. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you would know that I like to put snoods on them to protect their ears from getting food in them because then they chew on their ears and we don't want them to do that. I, as soon as I get their food in their crates and show you how their snoods go on, I'm going to make a prediction that I am quite positive will come true about what they do with their snoods. So, Apple, please notice that I am putting the snood on her, tucking her ears in, and then pushing it back. Easy, Apple. She gets very excited. Pushing it back. says apple on it now we have tag snood over her ears tuck them in push it back on her forehead and give her her food boo and bootsy are one on top of the other the whining is bootsy after all these years, she's six years old, she still thinks she's not going to get fed. Ah, go figure. Anyway, Boo gets fed first, seniority. Got a nice snoot for her, has a little double elastic on it. Over her forehead. And then Bootsy, who always has to shake hands with me before she gets her food. Snoot goes on her. Push it back. Give them a couple of minutes to eat their food. While they're eating, let me make my predictions. I will pick up Boo and Bootsy's food first. Both of them will have the snood, even though I tucked it way back over their heads, it'll be covering their eyes and they may even fall asleep. I'll go to Apple next and Apple will have taken her snood off completely all by herself and sometimes she even puts it in her food bowl. Uh, I guess she figures it helps me. Tag is the only one who is just gonna leave it as I put it on her. So give it a few minutes and we'll find out how correct I am. Well, they're done now, so let's go take a look and see how accurate the prediction was. Bootsy in the bottom. Hello, Bootsy. Where are you? Ah, yes. Snood covering her eyes. Boo. Snood covering her eyes. Let's get your bowls, girls. Thank you, Bootsy. Thank you, Boo. And now the other two. Here is Apple. Bowl, snood. She didn't get it in the bowl this time. A lot of times she does, but not always. Good girl, Apple. And tag with the snood intact, in place. Very good girl. Now, but I want you to stay in the crate for just a little while longer. In case you're wondering why I have them in the crate still, now it's our turn to eat and we like to eat in peace. Dogs like food even though they've already had their dog food they want a little bit of human food so we keep them in there for just a few more minutes while we eat our dinner and then everybody relaxes in the evening. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of insight into the way dogs just develop habits and they are definitely creatures who are subject to 
not just habit, but routine. They just follow the same routine every time. So stay well.